Hello, all you HubSpotters. Today, we're going to talk about playbooks. Playbooks are used in a variety of ways in HubSpot, um, specifically for sales and service. So these two areas up here, the way that you find playbooks is actually underneath sales. In the sales tab, you'll see playbooks right here under that tab. And uh, this is where you can edit and adjust them. We'll talk about that here in a second. But I just want to give you some real life scenarios with using these playbooks with contacts. So let's say a new contact comes in. We got Mr. Peter Jenkins here. He's come in and I'm a sales rep and I'm reaching out and you've given your sales rep all sorts of information on how he should reach out to them. And one of the best things that you can do is use a call playbook. It actually logs and creates the call right here so they can reach out and then they can go in and fill information in so I can update contact property like the number of employees that they have. When I select this property, I'll actually update the uh, property uh, for the employees that's over here on the left sidebar. I can talk about what their initiatives are. I can lead them through about, hey, when you're talking with somebody, here's what you need to do and discuss with them. We need to know what their budget, authority, and timeline is. Make sure you're getting that information. It allows them to collect notes. And with those notes, then they can um, save information about the call. So all this comes in. We hit log a call. We can even select the outcome. We're going to say we connected with them. It's awesome. We logged it. And you'll notice now that that logged call has come in here and saved. And it saved all the pertinent information. And if we look, we'll see that um, other items like the decision maker, what's their role, has been updated to decision maker. So this playbook has helped to define these things. You could take this further and write automation. We'll show you some of that in the deals area that's associated with this. So I can lead people down a path of what they need to do. I can number them. I can even give them a task that even tells them use playbook number one. So we're going to go over to a test deal now. And in this test deal, playbooks are still available. We're going to go to account based selling. I wanted to show you some of the cool features that are available in the playbooks. For example, I'm highlighting, I'm putting in embedding videos. I can change color and context. I can put in hyperlinks. So if I wanted to be able to tell them, Hey, here's information on how to um, talk to them about budget or who their decision maker is and use maybe some other methodologies, you can relate to those embed a video again and so on and so forth. What's really cool about this is that if um, I was to use, oh, and I thought I published it. No, it's missing. Oh, no. Here it is. Boom. I knew I remembered it. So what's the deal amount? So right now I don't have an amount in here. I'm going to go ahead and put an amount in now. So I'm going to put an amount of 20,000, right? Do they have a budget? Do they have budget secured? Yep. 20,000. I'm going to go ahead and log this call. You can also log it as a meeting or just log it as a note. These are the options you have when you set up the playbook so that it can be saved correctly. I'm going to go ahead and notice here that we are in the appointment scheduled stage of the demo sales pipeline. We're going to go ahead and log that call. It's now logged it. I've created a workflow that should be triggering off. That's then going to move this forward. Boom qualified to buy the stage has moved forward the workflow kicked off see that automation kicked off that said and that automation was based off of how I entered data in here and that data then was able to move a stage forward I can use other playbooks I can use tasks to associate with playbooks um, and you could have different orders I would actually have a playbook maybe based on the stage that they're on and call your playbook off of that You'll also notice that in that previous playbook, we even embedded an image to tell people where they need to do things. This is where you need to click. Okay. And we probably should, would want to zoom this in a little bit, but you can, you can utilize that pretty cool tool, pretty fun to use. Hopefully this helps you. Um, I'll show you just real quick in playbooks itself. This is the playbook itself. Very easy to use. It's just like typing a paper, you know, put info here. And I can choose to underline it, bulletize it. I can even uh, put it in a list view. I can embed images and links and I can ask those questions. 
I can leave them open. Maybe it has a certain set of answers or relate it to a property, which then you could trigger information off of. Pretty easy peasy. Once you're done, publish and then it updates it automatically. Go ahead and start using this tool. If you've got enterprise, it will rock your world. It's a game changer for what you're doing. Hope you guys enjoy.